you know, it's not very nice to sneak up on people like that. What are you even doing in here? A bookshelf tour? You want another bookshelf tour? Aren't you, like, getting tired of those by now? No? Really? Yeah, that's, that's cool. We can look at my vintage horror paperbacks if you want. I mean, I, I was kind of in the middle of something. It can wait. Okay, yeah, you're right. It can wait. That's, uh... Valid point. Let's uh, let's uh, take a look at my uh, paperbacks from hell, shall we? All right, so super duper awkward angle here. Very sorry about that. This is just very high shelf and my tripod can only go up so far. So we're gonna do it like this, at least for the first couple of uh, top shelves. All of my paperbacks from hell books are all organized alphabetically by the author's last name. So of course we're starting up here with the A's. We are gonna be looking at quite a lot of uh, VC Andrews. The horror community is very divided on whether or not VC Andrews is considered horror. I put her in my horror section because have you ever read a VC Andrews book before? <laughs> if you're somebody who does not think VC Andrews is horror and you're gonna bitch and moan in the comments, then maybe I put these here just to piss you off. Moving on, we're gonna start with the A's. So we have Scorpion, which is by Katina Alexis. Another book by Katina Alexis is Souls. And we also have Werewolves by Jerry and Sharon Ahern. Awesome cover on that. Wolf Kill by Greg Almquist. The Force by J. Edward Ames. Next, I have quite a few books by C. Dean Anderson. First up, we have Raw Pain Max, Fiend, I Am Dracula, I Am Frankenstein, Devour by Kurt Anderson. This is a newer book. Here we have two different editions of the same book, but they have different titles. So in the UK, it was published as The Woodsman. In the US, it was published as Blood Rite. These are both by Michael Falconer Anderson. I much prefer that cover, though. That is awesome. Next is Clawhammer by Paul Dale Anderson. Getting into my VC Andrews books, we have My Sweet Audrina. First edition with the uh, die cut cover and step back art. Seeds of Yesterday, Garden of Shadows, If There Be Thorns, Heaven, Dark Angel, Fallen Hearts, Gates of Paradise, Dawn, Secrets of the Morning, Twilight's Child, and Midnight Whispers. Moving down to the second shelf, Darkest Hour, Ruby. My older sister had a copy of this book when I was a kid, and that always used to creep me out. Pearl in the Mist. And this actually has a uh, bookmark in the back of it as well. And if you see me looking off to the side, it's because I'm trying to see if I have the books in frame or not. This one is All That Glitters, Hidden Jewel, Tarnished Gold, Creepy Cover, Heart Song, Unfinished Symphony, Music in the Night, Olivia, Runaways, Wildflowers. This is actually a bind up of some of the novellas. Into the Garden, which is a, a conclusion to the Wildflowers. Rain, Lightning Strikes, Eye of the Storm, another freaky looking cover, The End of the Rainbow, Shooting Stars, another bind up, and the conclusion to Shooting Stars, Falling Stars. And the last VC Andrews book that I own is Willow. I swear, every single time I see this Runaways book, I get that killer song stuck in my head. Next we have Waterworld. This one is by William Apple. Or maybe that's Appel. I don't know. 
And then the last book for shelf number two is The Changing by F.W. Armstrong. Moving down to shelf number three, we have a few books by Jonathan Acliffe, The Matrix, Whispers in the Dark, and The Vanishing. By Donald Bacon, we have The Midnight Hour, that incredible step back art, Webs by Scott Baker, The Darkest Hour by Donna Ball, The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. I have a lot more Clive Barker in my hardcover section. Night Visions Hard Shell, which I believe is edited by Clive Barker. Twisted by Sue Hollister Barr. The Streeter by Scott Ian Barry. Relife by Dan Barton. The Howling Man by Charles Baumont. Uh, Jaws, I think that's how you pronounce it. Jaws by Peter Benchley never heard of this one before the unknown this is a uh, anthology edited by dr benson and there's a, a foreword by isaac asimov in there the quiet by patrick billings next is dead time story this is by margaret bingley or bingley the everlasting by leonard bishop the piper by campbell black on my honor by malachi black Black Easter by James Blish. Pleasant Dreams by Robert Block. Strange Eons by Robert Block. And Mysteries of the Worm also by Robert Block. XY by Michael Blumlein. Jedi Summer with the Magnetic Kid by John Bowden. This is a newer book. I just put it in with the paperbacks because it's mass market sized. Snowman by Norman Bogner. Savage by Paul Borsden. This does have a step back art, but it's very gruesome and I, I don't want to show it here on YouTube. I wouldn't want to get flagged. Man Stopper by Douglas Borden. Morning Ran Red by Stephen Bauman. And Dark Satanic. This is by Marion Zimmer Bradley. All right, now we're moving down to the fourth shelf and I uh, was able to move my camera down finally so you don't have to look at my dumb face the whole time. We have a couple of books by the infamous Ray Bradbury. This is A Memory of Murder, which is a vintage book. And then I have a, a newer copy of The October Country. Next we have The Howling by Gary Brandner, The Howling 2 by Gary Brandner, The Howling 3, and Hellborn and Quintana Roo, both by Gary Brandner as well. Mr. Hands by Gary A. Bronbeck. Coffin County by Gary A. Bronbeck, The Vampire Journals by Tracy Brary, The Vampire Memoirs by Mara McCunniff and Tracy Brary, The Werewolf Chronicles by Tracy Brary, and another one of her books, Wolf Song. Next is Inheritance by Owen Brooks, The Manipulator by Dana Brookins, Toomley's Walk by Crosland Brown, Child of Demons by Mason Burgess, Blood Moon also by Mason Burgess, The Devil's Footsteps by John Burke, Kahish by Nathan Butler, Gift of Evil by Elizabeth Kane Bazilli, Super Shiny Cover, this is The Vampire's Apprentice by Richard Lee Byers, Dark Fortune by Richard Lee Byers, Fear Book by John L. Burns, The Dogs by Robert Calder, Night of the Wolf by J. Callahan, The Parasite, by Ramsey Campbell and Incarnate by Ramsey Campbell. Moving down to shelf number five. We are continuing on with my Ramsey Campbell books. This one is Night of the Claw, which he wrote under the name J. Ramsey. The Influence, really cool step back art. Death Port, edited by Ramsey Campbell. 50 Great Horror Stories, edited by John Canning. The Mance by Lisa W. Cantrell. And this is a signed copy. Its sequel, Torments. The Ridge, also by Lisa W. Cantrell. Bone Man by Lisa W. Cantrell. The Breeze Horror by Candace Caponegro. Ripper, The Life and Crimes of Jack the Ripper. This is an anthology. The Altar Boy by S.J. Cassidy. Cursed Be the Child by Mort Castle. 
and Moon on the Water by Mort Castle. Weird Shadows from Beyond, edited by John Carnell. Hide and Seek by William M. Carney. The Curse of the Undead, edited by M. L. Carter. Soul Snatchers by Michael Cicillione. Flowers of Evil by Robert Charles. The Grange by R. Chetwind Hayes. Cry Wolf by Alan B. Cronister. The Vampire Odyssey by Scott Kinson, which has some nice step back art. I love that. And I believe this is, yep, signed copy. The Wildlings by Scott Kinson. And this one is also signed. Parliament of Blood by Scott Kinson. This one isn't signed. Guardian Angels by Joseph Citro. Another Joseph A. Citro book is Dark Twilight. And lastly, for this shelf, we have Carnivore by Lee Clark. And I do have another Lee Clark book on the next shelf down, but you're going to have to wait to see that one. Oh, there you go, creeps. That is part one of my vintage horror paperback bookshelf tour. I really hope you creeps enjoyed that. And you can uh, check back very soon for part two. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get back to my reading now. See ya. Please. Or you can just make yourself at home. That's okay, too.